But I'll look into the next uh, question. You need to tell whether the statement is true or false. The mean of actual Y value and estimated Y value are the same. So mean of actual Y means mean of Y i's will should be equal to mean of Y i hat. So this is very simple and very, very easy to do better. So Y i hat is B1 plus B2 X i, right? So if I were to find the mean of this, I would have done sum and divided by n. So this would have given me summation B1 plus B2 summation Xi divided by n. So B1 is getting summed up n times. So this will be n B1 plus B2 submission Xi by n. And this would have gone ahead and given me B1 plus B2 X bar. Now, if I look into why I hat and I try to go ahead and I try to do that, then bit of why I hat will be B1 plus B2 Xi plus Ei. So if I were to find its mean, I would have done sum and I would have divided by the number of observations. And this would have given me submission B1 plus B2 submission Xi plus submission Ei by n. Now, clearly, we know that the sum of the error terms is 0. So, this becomes 0. And this gives me B1 is getting added up n times. So, n B1 plus B2 submission Xi by n. Right? Just write n properly here. Right, beta. So, this would have given you B1 plus B2 submission Xi by n. And this would have been B1 plus B2 X bar. So this is also giving me B1 plus B2 X bar. And this is also giving me B1 plus B2 X bar. So clearly the two means are exactly equal to each other. It, it wasn't even required. You didn't even have to prove this entire thing per se. Just by looking into this extra term, we know that this the uh, mean of this extra term, the error term is actually zero. And therefore I'm just left up with this term, right? And this term anyways, is the same as this term, right? So yes, the two means would be actually equal to each other. So the answer to this question is true, that the two means are equal to each other. Right, Vidal? Okay.